Hey, my name is Michael with Fresh Technology, and today we're going to show you how to set up Fresh KDS with Square. First, you'll need a tablet. We support both iPad and Android tablets, as well as your Square register. One thing you'll want to keep in mind before you get started is where you want to mount the tablet in your food preparation area. We support a variety of different mounting hardwares, but generally anything that will work with an Android or iPad tablet works great. We like RAM mounts, but you might want to talk to your hardware provider to find out what hardware works best for your operational situation. Now, it's important to note that you can't run the Fresh KDS app on Square, so you'll want to have a separate Android or iPad tablet to run Fresh KDS on. Next, head to either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store to download Fresh KDS. From the App Store, just type in Fresh KDS and search for it to find the Fresh KDS app. From there, you're going to go ahead and download the app, and as soon as it installs, you'll be ready to get started. As soon as you open the Fresh KDS app for the first time, you'll be asked to type in the email address and password that you just created a moment ago on the Fresh KDS website. As soon as you've typed in your username and your password, you'll just click Login. As soon as you've logged in, you'll click the Let's Get Set Up button and start your onboarding process. First, if you have multiple locations in your Fresh KDS account, you'll want to pick the location that you want to get started with. So in this case, I'm going to pick the location that I'm at, Atlanta, right now. You'll want to name your Fresh KDS screen, and we recommend that you name it something familiar uh, based on where you're going to put this tablet in your food preparation area. For example, a lot of our customers will name their KDS Fry or Grill or Expo based on where they plan on putting this tablet in the food preparation area. Once you type in a name for your KDS, you'll be asked which point of sale system you want to integrate with. Now, Fresh KDS can accept orders from multiple point of sale systems, but it's important that you pick a primary one. For this tablet to be discovered by the Square point of sale system, you need to make sure to pick the Square POS. So in this case, we'll pick Square POS. Fresh KDS also works with Square for restaurants, and we have two different options for those different point of sale systems. Next, you'll be asked which integration type you'd like to use. Fresh KDS offers two integration types with Square. One type works over the internet using Square's Orders API. The other works locally across Square's local area connection. The Orders API is easier to set up. You just have to log into your Fresh KDS or your Square account once. However, it doesn't support certain features like different order types, as well as the ability to work offline. If you work in an area that requires the different order types or have low internet connectivity reliability, we probably recommend that you pick the printer emulation mode. Don't worry. When you choose integration type, we'll walk you through a quick questionnaire to determine which integration type is right for you. Today, we're going to set this up over the local network connection. Once you've configured Fresh KDS, next, we'll ask for some view settings. From here, you'll be able to choose whether you want Fresh KDS to work in light or dark mode based on your kitchen aesthetics. You can also choose tiled, classic, or split view mode for different ticket arrangements. For right now, I'm just going to click Next and use the default options. Next, we'll ask if you want to enable the takeout screen. The takeout screen is a separate view primarily for use with expo stations. Since we're setting up Fresh KDS today for the Fry Station, we're not going to choose takeout mode. All right. Now we're ready to start getting orders. I'm going to click Start Getting Orders, and Fresh KDS is going to start. Now you'll see the setup instructions on the screen, but from here we'll want to transition setup from the Fresh KDS tablet on this iPad or Android device to your Square register. In Square, we're going to set Fresh KDS up as a printer. To do that, we're going to go to Settings, Hardware, Printers, and we'll want to create a new printer station. You'll give this printer station a name. I recommend making it the same as the name that you've given the Fresh KDS screen. And here, Square will discover any Fresh KDSs on the network. If it doesn't appear at first, you might want to check out some of our network troubleshooting steps in the help article linked below. Here you can see Fresh KDS show up on the Square register. We can select it, and we can go ahead and click Print Test. When you print a test order, you'll see that order show up on your Fresh KDS screen immediately. 
After you select your printer in Square, then you'll want to make sure to turn on the types of tickets that you'd like. In this case, we've turned on in-person ticket orders as well as online ticket orders. So we'll go ahead and save the settings to this printer station. And now Fresh KDS is set up as a printer station in Square. Now when you print orders that match the criteria for this printer station, they'll show up on the Fresh KDS tablet instantly. So let's go ahead and try that now. We'll come back to checkout and just ring out an order. In this case, we'll do a dark roast coffee. Let's make that medium with cream uh, and add a couple flavors to it. We'll go ahead and add this to our ticket. All right, so now you see the items here in the square register. We're gonna go ahead and check out, give this order a name. And finalize the transaction. Great, now that that order's gone through, you can see that same order here with the modifiers for each of those items on Fresh KDS. That's it. Now if you want to clear orders from these screens, you can just tap the name at the top of the order to click it, and you can learn way more about how to set up Fresh KDS and its more advanced options in our Help Center at help.freshkds.com. Thanks.